So the first thing we want to talk about is electrical charge. This, this picture here gives us a way of talking about it because it's made up of three different objects. And, and they're all built out of electrical charges because everything's made out of protons, electrons, and neutrons. The protons are, are represented, some of them at least, by these positive charges, the little pluses. And the little minuses represent electrons. And this wall over here has both kinds stuck together, basically. The balloon has both kinds. The sweater has both kinds. And so this is a picture of a cartoon of what you, what you do when you rub a balloon against a sweater. And then you find out it sticks to the sweater. And you also find out it sticks to the wall. And the picture here tells you why. So what happens when you rub a balloon against something? Well, there's friction. And, and friction means that pieces of the balloon are grabbing on to pieces of the sweater and vice versa. And when you rub something back and forth, then bonds are continually being broken and made all the time. The whole thing is a kind of a mess. Parts of the sweater show up on the balloon. Parts of the balloon can show up on the sweater. But the end result is that when you make and break all of these bonds, something funny happens. And I think you know what it is, roughly. If I rub this sweater, rub this balloon on the sweater, you can see that I've broken and made a bunch of bonds. This cartoon shows me that there are more electrons on the balloon than there were at the beginning, more negatively charged particles. And therefore, there's extra positive charge on the sweater. The sweater has more positive charge than negative because it's lost some negative charge, according to this picture here. Now, you know that negative charge and positive charges, the electrons are negative, the the protons are positive, they are unlike charges. They're opposite charges, and so they attract each other. The balloon has a bunch of negative charge. After that rubbing, the sweater has some extra positive charge, more than more positive than negative. And the end result is that uh, it's a net positive charge, and the balloon's a net negative charge. So when I let go, the balloon gets sucked over to the, to the sweater, and it sticks to it. Now, that's just because unlike charges stick to each other, and when I rub this thing on the, rub these two things together, you end up separating some of the charge. But the balloon sticks to the wall. So I move the balloon over to the wall. The balloon is negatively charged. It's got extra electrons. And you can see what happens. This picture shows you what happens when you move it over to the wall. The electrons in the wall get pushed away. That's what this cartoon shows you. The cartoon actually shows you that it get pushed pretty far away. And that's not really true. The electrons probably get pushed less than one atomic distance away. But still, they get pushed away so that the surface of the wall ends up slightly positively charged. The balloon is negatively charged. So the slightly positively charged surface is going to be attracting this balloon. They're unlike charges. Now, the wall is electrically neutral, so you could say that the negative charges are still going to repel the negatively charged balloon, and you would be right, but the negative charges are farther away. So the repelling force is weaker than the attracting force, and when I let go of the balloon, it gets sucked over to the wall. It's attracted to the wall and sticks to the wall. I can pull it away a little bit and let go again, and it just gets stuck to the wall. Pull it away let go. If I pull it too far away, we're going to find out that that it's, while it might be attracted to the wall, it's even more attracted to the positively charged sweater.